Do you Google yourself, and do you see what other people are googling? About I do sometimes. sometimes. Yes, it makes me question a lot of things. Yeah. So what are I mean, mine? should we should we have a look at some of these? Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? Saf here on Super Saf TV, and I've got here a very special guest here on the channel. It is, of course, Justine Ezerick, aka I Justine. That's me. So what's the name? Did Thank I say you. your name right? You said it's okay. It's like close enough. Well, how do you actually? Say Ezeric, it? but it's funny. Ezeric. I don't ever correct anybody. Oh. So, so then people just like. It's just like a mystery. There you go. Now you know. It's Ezeric. Ezeric, yeah. Awesome. So great to finally have you on the channel. I know this is so exciting. And you were also so on my awesome. channel. It was yeah. just like wow. We should finally here in LA. And you brought the rain. I'm sorry. It's I'm okay. Sorry. It's just, it, this is like a gray cloud that follows me everywhere I, or everywhere I go. So <laughs> I'm sorry. LA, like, it doesn't rain here. It ever. really doesn't, except it did. It, like, you just, just got like, here. Just like, I got here and it just starts raining. I couldn't believe it. Well, but yeah. it's okay. You're here and now it's the rain stopped. So. Yeah, so it's stopped for now. And it's we'll great. be going out in the Raptor later, which is yes. going to be so exciting. Are we'll, you afraid of my driving? Do we have, you have seatbelts, right? There are seatbelts. Yeah. I think when I get one, I'm probably going to get the racing ones. Okay. So there's like extra yeah. safety. So as long as we've got those, I think it should be all right. We'll be good. Yeah. Well, this video will not go live if, if I don't have my seatbelt on, potentially so. Okay, well, so I'm trying to be like, so if something happens, like you have to, but then I'll, so I'll we, need to have a, we need to have a redundancy plan. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll upload this. But you're going to be in the car too. Post-mortem. Oh, no, you're right. I'll die. <laughs> this <laughs> is funny. Through, guys. This we is funny. Through. We oh, my God. Let's put it okay, in the cloud. Is <laughs> this is getting super dark. This is getting too deep. <laughs> okay. Oh. Right. Uh, anyway. What are we doing? Anyway, so, Justine. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> with uh, Justine and Jenna. Hello. Oh God. I'm Hello. a good driver. She's a very good no, driver. No, no. Seatbelts are on. I <laughs> uh, just wanted to ask, get to know Justine. Is Eric. Like me or you want, you want to know me or do you I want know, to know I Justine? I want to know <gasps> the dun, Justine. Dun, dun. The Justine. Uh, but also like what kind of tech you're into as well. That's of course something that mm -hmm. a lot of people are also interested in. So firstly, what is Justine's go-to right now. Camera, smartphone, and computer. What are you three? Oh my gosh, probably the new MacBook Pro. I mean, that's when I'm traveling. Like that's okay. what yeah. I pretty much do everything on. Um, the Sony a7 III. That's what I'm yeah. shooting pretty much. This is that right there. That oh, one there. Sony hey. a7 III. So I'm going to be that. getting that now. Justine and David have convinced me enough to, to get it. It's incredible. So, yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. And you'll be seeing the quality much better than what you've got on my channel normally. <laughs> so yeah. And, and what was the third one? Phone. phone. Oh, iPhone XS, of course. Of course, of course. That's not that's not a surprise. Surprise. But, I mean, it's not a surprise. But of course, I mean, like, you use the iPhone, obviously, mm -hmm. as your daily. But you also use other phones, which I, I like. And you use lots of other tech. And what I also like when I see videos is that if you do think that there's a feature on another phone that's better, you'll say it. It's yeah. not like you're going to be like, no, I still like the iPhone better. You'll say that this phone has something better. So if you could take something from these other phones and put them into the iPhone. You know, we're talking camera, battery, yeah. etc. What would you take and from where? I love the Pixel wide angle. Like okay. they did such so, a good job yeah. with that. And also the night sight. I know I made yeah. a few videos talking about the night sight, kind of making fun of the press announcement because they it was... over exaggerated the iPhone. I'm like, okay. there's no way that that picture, you turn that exposure down. Like yeah. I use it every day. I know what you did, but yeah. That's not to say that the night sight, it it's is really absolutely incredible. I got really this impressive. picture, the moon was rising I saw that. over was the so mountains awesome. in the middle of the desert and I didn't even bring my actual camera. So yeah. the only thing I had was my iPhone and the Pixel. Mm. And I was like, I might as well just try this out. Yeah. And it, it kind of like blew my mind how yeah. great the shot was because it was completely dark. There was nothing but the moonlight. Yeah, this, this is something that I've been saying as well. That getting night sight, something like night sight mm -hmm. on an iPhone would be awesome. Yeah. That's one area that I think that it can improve. They do. And then especially yeah. the wide angle lens, because I think oh, that yeah. makes such a huge difference in like taking selfies and even just yeah, video yeah. and vlogging and things like that. Of course. Yeah. What else? What else would you get from other phones that you like? What else would I get? I mean, that's really, that's what I use most. Okay. Is I would love to have a front facing 4K camera. Okay. Yeah. For vlogging. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I forget which phone it was that it had the, there was like a monitor on the back or like a little screen display. Oh yeah. So yeah. It didn't have a selfie camera, but okay. you could still use the back. Yeah. Yeah. Which I... was that? I forgot the name of what it. Was it? I what was it? Uh, it's um, it's this one. 
You could just put it right Bing. there. You see, it's like magic. I'm just, I'm going to leave this in. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in. No. <laughs> Here it is. Nubia X. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Nubia X. Nubia X. That is a pretty cool concept because the rear facing camera is obviously the main camera, yeah. which has the best quality, best for low light, etc. So using that as your selfie camera would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I think it's also hard too, because I think what a lot of people do is when they're using the front facing camera, they're mm. looking at themselves. Yeah. So it's like, you have to figure out where that camera is. Look at that, not yourself. Yeah, which is, this is why I'm always wearing sunglasses. It's a Casey Neistat hack. Oh, that's right. You, you guys are smart. Yeah, yeah. That's what you need to do. But yeah, no, I, I get that. Everybody does do that, but it'd be nice. Yeah. Anything else that you'd like to take from other phones? Hmm. You, you, what about the color? I, uh, oh, color. Oh, I put a case on it. Okay. So honestly, it doesn't really matter. But I do okay. love these sort of like the two-toned. Mm. Can I see though? Look yeah. at it. Oh my gosh, like, look at this. Let me, let me take it off the case. Oh, okay, yeah. So like I love like these two-toned colors. This is a twilight. Oh my. Look at this. Have you guys ever seen this? It does look really cool. It really does. I like, it's beautiful. Yeah. But I mean, I love like the look of the iPhone, obviously. Oh, yeah. But it's just, I think, I really wish that they would have done a hot pink. Oh. iPhone XR. If they would have, like, I would have. The iJustine edition. Oh. That would be pretty cool. It would be so great. Apple, if you're listening. Please. For the next one. Oh my gosh, I'd freak out. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. Lose my mind. Right, so let's talk a bit about your journey here in YouTube as, and just as a content creator, what, what do you actually refer to yourself as, by the way? Uh, I'm the grandmother of YouTube at this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Like, when I think about yeah. how much time has passed, like, it's been over 12 years at this it's point. It's crazy. That I've been making YouTube videos. Like, that's absurd it is a very very long time right but it's but what's amazing is what i think is amazing is that i've seen lots of youtubers come and go mm -hmm. uh, but you've consistently been making content which yeah. is so inspiring to see what what keeps you going um so i feel like i've talked about this like very little bit but i feel yeah. like every three years i sort of go through this like cycle of like doubting myself, doubting what I'm doing. And I think everybody does that, but a I lot of times so. we don't really talk about it. Mm. But I, I think this past couple of years, um, it got really bad where I actually kind of quit YouTube, but no one really knows. Like I didn't really make a big deal about it. Like I was still okay. posting content, yeah. but I was just like so unhappy. I didn't like what I was doing. I didn't like my content. And I think mm. just like everyone's mean to me. Why is everything happening? What is going on? Is it me? Is it you? I don't know. And so I just sort of like, thought back to like when was my most happiest time on YouTube and mm -hmm. why did I start doing this? Because I really loved creating content. I loved telling stories. And I loved editing. So I just thought, what are my favorite things? Mm -hmm. I love tech. I love food. I love video games. And I just sort of rebranded myself kind of into... Okay. And I didn't yeah. make like a big deal about it. I just did it. Just, yeah. I just was like, these are the things that I love. This is what I'm going to make videos about. And I did. And, and like that increased my overall happiness. I wasn't vlogging as much, so I still had like my personal life. Yeah. And it was just like everything just sort of stemmed from that, just going back to like my core values mm -hmm. of what I love to do and and that helped me and it helped my channel and and like I awesome. still like I still love it. Like I really yeah. do or I would not be doing it. No, that's 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 really interesting that you mentioned that because I think a lot of creators do go through that and they don't get out of that. Yeah. And it's great to hear that you kind of did take a step back mm -hmm. and see what you what you started yeah. in the first place for, right? And I feel like you just get so you sucked in by the views and the numbers. And yeah. like, I don't really exactly. ever look at it. I okay. mean, it's like I definitely, I mean, I do. I'm not gonna mm. say I don't ever see when things aren't going well yeah. or doing this, but a lot of times like that's not your fault. It like isn't. it's a YouTube issue or mm -hmm. it is something like you need to tweak the type of content. I mean, it's it's not like don't take it personally because mm -hmm. most of the time it's not you. It's yeah. it's just outside things that are affecting that. And that's something that you have to keep reminding yourself because it is very easy to get into that rabbit hole yeah. and kind of just like, you know, just views, subscribers, numbers, which is, and it's not all about that. Yes, of course, that's part of it, mm -hmm. but it's not all about that. But it's like, I feel like for me, when I switched my mentality mm -hmm. of really enjoying the content that I was making and not just producing just to produce stuff. Yeah. And like if there's a few days where I go and I don't post anything or a week, like that used to just eat away at yeah. me. And now I'm See. like, you know what? It's fine. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to do other things. And like for me, like video games was usually like my escape. Like I yeah. would just go and play video games. And I feel like that also wasn't very healthy because mm -hmm. I wasn't going outside. I wasn't working out. I wasn't doing anything. So mm -hmm. even this year, I focused a lot on like fitness, health and that because that's, that's also something that was suffering because I would focus all my time on of course, this. on this. Or playing video games. Yeah. So it's like trying to balance the gaming and still going outside is, has been very, very helpful. That's, that's, that's awesome. And I'm glad that you saw that 
and that moving forward positively, which is which is awesome to see. You mentioned about YouTube and some of the changes being yeah. YouTube's fault, and I've seen that you've actually been quite vocal as well on Twitter. If you could change something on YouTube, what would it be? I mean, it's just it's hard because this is not just a YouTube problem. It's mm-hmm. it's like you have subscribers, you have followers, like you don't really own those mm-hmm. people. You know, it's it's like you're on a platform that yeah. is free, and so they're giving you these things. So it's kind of like. I feel like for YouTube, like it's a privilege that we are able to make money. Like it's mm-hmm. not a right. So for them to take it away from people, like that's it, like that's fine. Like they yeah. could do that. Like we're using their service. They're giving yeah. us money. Like that's crazy. Yeah. To even like think about. So mm. and I think that's where it sort of gets a little bit kind of like the gray area yeah. because people are like, well, I'm uploading content. I'm putting my time and effort in this, but and they're taking the money away. But yeah. like brands don't want to advertise over content that yeah. is not appropriate. So I totally get it. Yeah. I don't think it's entirely fair to creators who maybe had made money yeah. off of that in the yeah. past, but it's, it is such a fine line and it it's, is. it's difficult because it's like you're ripping something away from someone. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. And I think, you know, you, you, your content, you've not been hit by demonetization at all. No, I mean, every once in a while, sometimes by like accident. Yeah, but, but I mean, your content's very clean, mm-hmm. very family friendly. Yeah, with which some I of think... my gaming stuff, I was a little, I got a little rambunctious. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> calm down a little bit when yeah. I'm playing Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, so whenever I'm watching your videos, what I do notice, and even right now, like when we've been shooting together, is you're very energetic, you're really excited, and it, and it, it is quite genuine, yeah. right? So that's really good to see, but do you have like down days? Do you feel like, okay, I don't want to do this today? Oh yeah, there's today. even been videos I've shot that I'm like, I can't even post this because I look miserable. Yeah. So, I mean, again, that's why I'll sometimes bank some content that okay. I have like cooking yeah. videos that I've shot before where if I'm having like a bad week or I'm traveling and I'm exhausted, like I just, mm. it is so important to take care of yourself and that's it something is. that I, just really never did mm. until recently. And I'm like, if, if I don't take care of myself, like I'm not happy, yeah. my content isn't good, so. It comes across, doesn't it, on camera? For sure. Totally. And especially when we're editing ourselves, I'm like, oh my God, you look so miserable. Like, yeah. you can just see it. Like, you can. Your eyes, I'm like, oh, just seeing, go yeah. take a nap. Girl. Yeah, yeah, no, because I remember like, I, I came back from a flight, like it was like a 12 hour yeah. flight, and I had another flight the day after, but I had to film a video mm-hmm. because it had been a week since I had done one. And I did it, and like I can like see my face just like 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 my face is begging yeah. for sleep, right? Yeah. But this is the thing that I was like, no, I had to post the video, so I had to kind of like try to really like I had a few coffees and just try to boost up that energy. Yeah. But it's good to hear that you know like a lot of people will see Justine always happy and excited, but it happens to all of us, right? Oh, if, you, for sure it does. And I mean, there's definitely been videos where I've had to push through and just like, you yeah. just have to get it done. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's a part of it. I, I think it was whenever the, the MacBook Air and the Mac Mini came out. Like yeah. I was traveling so much, and, like everything that could went wrong, like I tripped a breaker, all the lights went off, I had I SD cards it. corrupted. I was about ready to lose my yeah. mind, but yeah. I was just sort of like laughing at it because yeah. I was like, what else can go wrong? Yeah. And then the next day, the battery died in my car. I put dog food in my oatmeal. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> like everything. That's like the worst day. But it's like it's it's good because it's like when things are going so great, you, yeah. you sometimes take that for granted. So you it's do. like you yeah. sometimes need to be knocked back down. Be like, oh yeah. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. It it gets worse. It gets yeah. worse. It gets worse. But it does get better, and it's just. You just have to work to get back to that. Yeah, it makes you appreciate the good days, right? Sure does. What I like seeing about your journey are that you've not just been doing YouTube. You've you know, been on TV shows, you've got a book, mm-hmm. uh, you've been in movies, which is awesome to see somebody who's an online content creator to kind of venture out and do all of these other, these other things. Yeah. Is there something that you haven't done yet which you'd like to do? I think so. I think I'd love to do a movie myself. Okay. Yeah, so I think we've, we've definitely pitched a lot of things, but I feel like... That was something that I've wanted to do like the past couple of years, but I feel okay. like when the time is right, like it'll all work out. Cool. And I have so many talented friends that are like writers and producers and just directors. Yeah. So it's like when I can get all those people together to yeah. do something, like that's when it'll. I'm looking be forward great. to seeing that. If you yeah. need, if you need a hat, let yes, me know. Yes, I will. Oh my gosh, I'll, so I'll be fun. over here. That's great. In LA. Yeah. It's awesome. I love it. I'll hopefully not bring the weather with me. No, because then you have to go back. Yeah. But. Then it's just like <laughs> cancel. Shoots cancel. Saf's here. He's got the weather. <laughs> go back. <laughs> There's so many things like I want to do like a children's book. I'd love to do like some animations and stuff and sort of things that aren't really revolving around me. Mm. Like I love telling other people's stories. Like okay. just 
like documentaries and things like that, I think are just so fun. That's awesome. Looking forward to seeing some of that stuff yeah, come up, hopefully. Thank you. So you've been making content for over 10 years now? Oh gosh, yeah. But then I made like my first website when I was in sixth grade, which was yeah. a very long time ago. Because I was like so, teaching myself HTML. Like I thought HTML. I wanted to be a computer programmer when I was in sixth grade. The good grade. old days. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I first made mine, it's like I had all these animated GIFs. Yes. Just like everything, just like it's such a busy page but and it that's was just awesome. what that's what it was well, you did then yeah that was the good times so over those like years what would you say has been like your highlight um i honestly it's like meeting the people that like we make videos for because yeah. i feel like if i don't meet them you don't actually understand like yeah. the impact that the, us You've, as creators have yeah and it's incredible like just little kids coming up and just crying and i'm like yeah. oh, oh my god I had this moment on my book tour. We were in New York, and one of my favorite authors growing up was R.L. Stein. Right. Oh my god! Yeah. Like the, the biggest fan. Like I read every Goosebumps book. I had like yeah. every like Fear Street, like every single one. Like I love them so much. And I was standing at the the book signing, mm. and R.L. Stein was signing books next to me awesome. and then this little girl comes up and she's crying and then I'm hugging her and I look over and I see R.L. Stein. I start to cry and it was sort <laughs> of like, like a... it was one of those moments that like I understood what was going through her mind yeah. because I was having the same reaction same so yeah. it was just like such a powerful moment just to know that like you know people do have that impact yeah. over you and I was like oh, I have this for you and he has that for me I'm like this uh, is great. That's awesome like because I remember we were at CES mm -hmm. together early in the year and then you had so many people like Trying to have a conversation with Justine is like difficult if you're in public because you just have people like, Justine, can I get a picture? And I was just like kind of at the side and one guy was like, oh, you can be in the picture too. I'm like, okay, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> I'll just be there at the side. But yeah, well, that's no, it's just CES, awesome. But like yeah. normal, like yeah. every day, like it's, it's totally Do, do you fine. get that a lot? Say if you were out in town. Like, sometimes. Just, do you just get that a lot? Yeah, yeah I mean, cool. It's, it's cool. It's just like people just want to say hi and they're yeah. usually very friendly and nice and then take a picture, high five, hug. And that's awesome. That's awesome. Way. And it's good that good to see how you actually interact with fans and being down to earth as well. One of the things I always tell people is the first time, so me and Justine, like I'd obviously seen a lot of Justine's content as everybody else has for a long time. But then uh, we interacted on Twitter a little bit. Yeah. And then we met at uh, in New York. Oh, yeah, the that's case right. Yes. Event. Yeah. And I was like, okay, it's Justine, you know, like, you know, she's how, what is she going to be like? Like, I, I didn't know what to expect. And then just Justine came over. She's like, hey, Saf, how are you doing? And everything. And I still tell people, I'm like, Justine, so awesome, so down oh to us. And, 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 and I really appreciate that. And it's good to see. It's like inspiring to see because we do see some people who can, like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm better than anybody yeah. else, sort of thing. So it's so good to see that you are down to earth and that's, uh, that's something that I kind of look up to all the time. Well, I think so it's, it's hard awesome. too because, I mean, I feel like I have been doing it for so long too and I feel like at some point, you know, those people that may have that attitude, I mean, that might be something coming from deep down inside. Like, they yeah. don't mean to be that way. Yeah. So it just sort of may come off like that. But yeah. I don't know. I'm just always trying to think of, like, why is somebody doing what they're doing? Yeah. But... I don't know, but it's, it is great meeting people, and I was it so is. excited to meet you. I was like, oh my god, yeah. it's super sad. It's Justine. It's like Justine. It. It's so awesome. But that was such a fun event that we went to in New York. That was. It was that really was. Cool. It was so awesome. That was actually the time I quit my job. Yeah. And flew to New York. And it was That's the best time ever. I was amazing. like, best decision I ever made. You know, got to hang out with Justine, Casey, everybody. Yeah. And it just, it was so positive to see the community. And I think, especially, you know, in our sort of community, you know, people who do tech and stuff. It is really nice like that everybody kind of gets along yeah. and you know we help each other out and it's awesome collaborations. That's one thing I've definitely noticed about the tech community is everyone yeah. is super supportive and there's so many different communities yeah. in YouTube and I feel like I'm kind of like a mini yeah. part of a lot of them because I produce so much different you do. type of yeah. content. Um, and it's been interesting coming from the gaming community which I feel like yeah. was very, very harsh and mm. not very supportive. Um, it's much better now, mm. I think, but like in the beginning, people were like, you don't actually play games. I'm like, I grew up, like, this is, this this is, is what you all do. I've done. Yeah. But even like this past year, like I took a step back from that just mm. to try to like, you know, go outside and do things yeah. away. But it's like, it's always something that I've loved. And just, you know, especially with the Nintendo Switch, like, yeah. I can take it with me everywhere. So then it brings gaming with yes. you all the time. Oh, it's that, so great. It's, it's interesting. You mentioned all of this because being a female content creator. And that's something that I want to talk about because I think in the gaming and particularly in the tech space as well, right? I, the attitude that you get from the audience because it's primarily yeah. a male dominated audience, it's so different. And personally, I think it's much more difficult being a female content creator in the tech community because say, Super Seth says something wrong, they'll be like, Seth, you're an idiot, right? Oh. If, if, if a female content creator says something wrong, I mean, they'll get really personal and things like that. Do you get that a lot and how do you deal with it? Okay, so 
I kept saying hard drive. I meant solid state drive, and I'm still not <laughs> living it down, okay? You guys know what I meant. <laughs> Calling my family, telling me I need to die because I caught. I'm like, come on. Yes. Like, let's just, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But it's, it's so silly because, mm. we, like, I can be making the same video as somebody else, and they'll say, oh, my gosh, like, she's being too excited. I'm like, what? But that's, I am that's genuinely how she is. Yeah. excited about it. And if I'm not excited, I'm maybe I just need to go to sleep or it's like something that I don't really yeah. care that much about. But yeah. I usually only make videos about stuff that I like. Yeah. So if I don't make a video about it, probably because I didn't like it. Hmm. Which is, or I didn't feel like editing, you know, it depends. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it, it is funny because I'll read comments in somebody else's video or they'll tell me that like, my mom or dad bought it for me, and like oh. that's their. Or like, I will buy something, and they'll be like, "Oh, you're so spoiled." And then somebody yeah. else, like a guy, will buy it, and they're like, "Oh, oh yeah, that's man, a, bro, that's yeah, so cool." Yeah, yeah. See, that's that's something that I think needs it's to change. Weird. I make videos for everybody. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm not going to give you all the crazy ste like specs yeah, yeah. and go that in depth. I mean, mm -hmm. I definitely can. Mm -hmm. But like most of the time, when I'm watching a video. I want to know, like, how does it perform? Yeah. You know, it's really cool. And even, like, I used to just do unboxing videos, and now I'm like, no, you need to do a little bit more, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I'll do the unboxing, which I love doing, and yeah. then I go out and test said product in, like, a normal way that people would normally use it. Yeah, no, because I actually like that, because I saw one of your videos, and it's like, oh, her video is better than mine, because she, like, because I unboxed it because it's an unboxing, yeah. and they did a separate video, which was kind of the review, but then you kind of... You did the unboxing, but then you're like, all right, I'm gonna go out and check it out. And yeah. it made the unboxing so much more interesting to see. And it was something that I was like, all right, maybe I need to do that more in my videos. So yeah, something like that. Because I, like, I yeah. used to separate them mostly because I'd be like, oh, well, if I separate it, then I have two videos. Yeah. But then at some point, I'm like, that, yeah. no one's gonna come back to watch the second one. So yeah. it's like, I need to just put it all in put one. It, well, both and, in one. And yeah, so it's, and that's kind of made the unboxings more enjoyable. It's yeah. definitely made it a lot more work. Yeah, I can imagine. Because especially like the, the Apple Watch stuff too, yeah. it's like I had to have Jenna help film and yeah. like just so much goes into it, but it's it makes it worthwhile and I, I still love to edit yeah. so much. So it's like kind That's of telling that story from all this random footage that we've shot throughout the day is, is like my favorite part. Yeah, and so speaking of editing, like you <laughs> do everything yourself. Yeah. I just Dean. I, I do everything myself. Oh That's my the thing. I mean, like, I was, I, the, when, when, I, when I first spoke to you about it, I was like, um, I thought that you've got, like, a big team. But then I realized it was pretty much just you. Yeah, I mean, even, like, this setup, it's like, we've got two cameras. I can do yeah. it myself. It definitely would be easier with more people. I mean, I do have people help sometimes shoot some of the cooking videos. And then my sister helps me shoot a bunch of, like, the out-and-about videos. Mm. But I think definitely I do want to get to a point where somebody is editing half the videos. Okay. Like, half the ones that I'm not that emotionally attached yeah. to like some of the cooking videos very straightforward things i want to start doing more gaming stuff so i'd have somebody kind of do that but like yeah. the vlogs and the tech and like doing the reviews like that is so personal to me okay that it's like i want to have hands on and i You're love i just i love it like i really really do if i didn't i definitely would have somebody doing it yeah. but it's funny because one of my friends we went uh i was talking about this earlier so yeah. we went into the desert with this ford raptor and we Looks like we filmed a Ford commercial, and yeah. all I had was just like my camera, like my phone, a yeah. drone, and like that little DJI, the Osmo Pocket. Yeah. And it looked like an entire film crew. I was like, nope, that was that was just us. That was just you. And you look at it next to the actual Ford commercial, hmm. like it's shocking. It wasn't a commercial. Awesome. It wasn't an ad. Not yeah. sponsored. But not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. But God, I love <laughs> Ford Raptor. Do you Google yourself, and do you see what other people are Googling about I do sometimes. You? sometimes, yes. It makes me question a lot of things. Yeah, so, what are I mean, mine? Should, we, should we have a look at some of these? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's usually so. boyfriend, husband, married, net worth, sister. So, th those, <laughs> those are some of the top ones. Is it? <laughs> so, we've got boyfriend, married. We've got sister in age, there. Age, age. They love age. It, yes. Do you choose not to share them, or...? I mean, like, my, my <laughs> net worth, hold on, let me give you guys my taxes, let's do that. Um, Twitter, age, net worth, Instagram, boyfriend, you know, that's, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Have fun, I'd love to see your research results. <laughs> what do you watch? What does Justine, what does I, Justine, watch on wow. YouTube and, you know, who would you say are some of your favorite creators? I mean, I watch you, I watch Sarah, I watch oh. Jonathan, I watch Marquez. Like, I mean, I basically just watch like a lot of tech videos, but what I yeah. try not to do is watch your guys' videos if you guys are covering something yeah. before yeah. I do, Same. because I don't want to like have something that somebody else said in yeah. my head. Yeah. So it's like, I get so excited when I'm yeah. done with the video yeah. that I get to go watch everybody else's. Same. So it's so fun. Yeah, no, that's one of the things because you can like subliminally get that bias. Like somebody mentions something, you're like, all right, I'm going to be looking out for it. But then it's yeah. not your 
well, it's not what people have come to watch your video for. They've yeah. come to your video to see your opinion, right? You know, I'm like, don't watch. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, they already have their video up. Oh, yeah. I want to look at it. Yeah, but... no, I, I do that as well. So especially when it comes to cameras, like, because camera comparisons is a yeah. thing that I do. I don't watch anybody's. I go out, test it myself, put my opinions out there. Then I watch everybody else's. But generally what you'll find is, what I find anyway, is after I've put one of those online, I look at your video, I look at Marquez's, and it's like, oh, we, we have similar thoughts. Yeah. So you can like, yeah, so I wasn't wrong about that. Yeah. You know, this camera isn't so good in this situation, mm-hmm. for instance. So that's, that's interesting. That's cool. So tech, what, what, what about other than tech? What, um, what I watch see? Rosanna Pansino. She does nerdy okay. nummies. So she does like baking, okay. um, like Lily Singh. She's one of my good friends as well. Uh, She's Lizzie awesome. Sterling. Although she, she doesn't post as much because she does like these crazy music videos. So yeah. I feel like so much time goes into those. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just like now I just watch like a lot of my friends and okay. then I end up just getting down like that recommended rabbit oh, hole. Oh yeah, you just go on. Like, where am I? Like, how did I get did from you, get there? you to where I've ended up? Like watching like all these crazy, just, it, it just gets so crazy, the, the yeah. recommended videos. Like it's shocking. It's pretty crazy. It's, it's funny you mentioned uh, Lily mm-hmm. because it, she's superwoman. I'm super sad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I get right. That, I get that so many times. It's like. Are you guys related? Are you like, well, what is, what's going on? It's just like, oh, because we have the same first name, of yeah. course, Super. Super, the first, super first name. <laughs> so this is what it is. I get that so many times. That's I used to so get a lot funny. before as well. It's just yeah. like, Superwoman, Super Sath, hmm, there's got to be a connection there. She's great. And yeah, she's like she's such awesome. a hardworking person. Like, I'm like, man, you need to take a break. And she did. And I think yeah. that was one of the best things I think that, yeah. that everybody needs to take a break at some definitely. point. Definitely. Definitely. I saw that and I was like really happy that Me she too. was taking time for herself and prioritizing yeah. health. That was, that was awesome to see. What is next for what is I next? Just Teen? Wow. So, I mean, I feel like next year, like even this past year, like I really wanted to start sort of like a production company and just start doing bigger projects. So like a lot of things got away from me this year. Yeah. So went back to prioritizing like myself mm-hmm. and thinking about like, you know, why did I start doing YouTube? And now that I feel like I have that under control, yeah. I think next year I want to do some like bigger projects. Obviously I want to do a movie. Cool. I want to do another book. Yeah. Um, like I really want to do a children's book so badly. Like it's just... It'd be so fun. Awesome. Now, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of those things. Yeah. Now, we're going to be finishing off with the Super Saf quick fire round. Oh, gosh. Okay. Right? Now, before we do that, I've got a little present for you. Just hold on for a second. I'm scared. It's he's not got, alive, don't worry. in his bag. There you go. That is for you. This is for me? <laughs> no way! <laughs> go You've way! got some Super Saf I'm shades. Super Saf! Look at that. Super Justine. So, oh my gosh, Look this at is that. great. This is awesome. Cool. Um, How cool. This gives you special powers, actually. Do you ever have trouble with reflections? Reflections? No, this is the, well, this is the, I, I don't actually wear them in videos that much. It's more for pictures. On Instagram, you won't see me without my sunglasses. That's just kind of like the mm. thing. That's the thing. But yeah, I mean, so you've got your own pan out with the reflective lenses. I love it. It's funny because whenever somebody talks to me, I it's see like, you. yeah. So I, you see yourself, right? So it's kind Wait, of like I, see, I mean, I see me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. I know what you mean. It's well, you all right. You guys can probably see yourselves. You yeah. See that light. If you look really, really close, you'll be able to see yourselves. <laughs> oh, that's great. I feel super cool. There you go. Okay, quick fire, quick fire. Cool. Quick fire. I'm ready. <clears throat> Two options. You can't think about it. I want a response straight away. Okay. Well, we're in trouble now. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so super staff quick fire out in three, Two, one, hot cold. Hot. Big or small? Small. Sweet or sour? Sweet. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Beef or chicken? Chicken. Pancakes or waffles? <laughs> waffles. Gif or Jif? Jif. PC or Mac? Mac. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Shit, I didn't even have to finish that. <laughs> I didn't even have to finish that. Android or iOS? iOS. Desktop or laptop? Laptop. Instagram or Twitter? <gasps> Take it too long, take it too long. <laughs> That was, that was, that was, that was, you, you can't do that. That's cheating. This is cheating. I was thinking about what, what would you I do need, without You need to answer straight okay, away. It needs Twitter. to be oh, sorry, 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 Okay, Twitter. Right, okay. No cheating anymore, right? No, no more. Metal or glass? Uh, metal. Skin or case? Case? 21 by 9 or 16 by 9? 16. Sony or Canon? Sony. Headphones or earphones? Airpods? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell this is I just need, right? <laughs> Everything Apple. All right, okay. 3.5 mm jack or bigger battery? Battery. Fingerprint scan or face ID? Face ID. Better battery life or more pixels? Mm, better battery life. Front, front stereo speakers or a bezel-less display? Bezel-less. Wide angle or telephoto? Wide angle. Wireless or fast charging? It's taking too long. F- 
word. <laughs> because I was like, okay, if I say fast charging, then iPhone is going <laughs> to I, I like the fast charge. Fast charging. Cool. It was yeah, okay. It was okay. I'm sorry. It was okay. My brain is super slow. It's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. She did okay. She did okay. I tried my best. Justine, thank you so much for being on the channel. This it's so awesome so fun. being here. And, uh, you know, it's great to hear about your future projects and what you're planning on. Wish you all the best in it. If you haven't already subscribed to iJustine, then please do go ahead and subscribe. You won't be disappointed. I'm going to leave, be leaving all of her channels linked in the description below. It's, it's pretty consistent, isn't it? Just yeah, I, mean, I just, just, just use one now. I used to have like 45. I even have, I yeah. even had a racing channel. You had a racing I channel. I think I need to bring that Somewhere one back in. now with this Ford Raptor. Yeah, well, oh there you go. Gosh. This is going to be the new one, I just seen racing. Let's go. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, then be sure to subscribe. Hopefully, you'll be seeing more collaborations like this. Thanks for watching. This is Super Staff with iJustine on Super Staff TV, and we'll see you next time. Bye. So, Thanks yeah. for having me. This was so fun. This has been awesome. Thank you. Yay.